so glad you're okay. Uh, but you're a little sticky. Hey, maybe we can use the sticky goop to fix the bouncy castle. Great idea, Kana. But let's fill the castle first. Oh, me, 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 me. Here you go, Percy. <gasps> While you do that, I'll get some goop for the pack. Chugga, chugga, woohoo! Awesome! And now to clean you off, it's whooshing time. <laughs> Thank you, Connor. Look at that. All good is new. Well, almost all. Wait, maybe we could fix the calliope with goo, just like we fixed the bouncy castle. Wow, we did it. <sighs> I'm sorry, calliope. I really loved how you went. Yeah, I miss it. I really like the... And how about the? No way. The best was the. Hey, everyone, do that again. Do what again? Make all those musical sounds. OK. <laughs> Together, we sound a lot like the Calliope. If we work together, I bet we can fill in at the carnival. <gasps> I am so happy to see you. I was starting to worry something terrible had happened. <gasps> What's this? We hit a few snags along the way. Oh, don't worry. A bouncy castle is as good as it bounce. And this one's still got it. Clever patch. <gasps> no! No, no, no! Not the Calliope. How did this happen? I'm sure I just heard it playing. Actually, you heard us working together. Let's show him, everyone. <gasps> the feeling of being sparkly clean after a good scrub. Okay, Sandy, your turn. No! I don't want to take a bath! Aw, come on, Sandy. Don't you want to be clean and shiny like me? No! I like being muddy. It's my look. Besides, you're just gonna get all dirty again. Maybe, but I'll make you a deal. If I can stay clean all day, then you have to take a bath. You are on! Hope you don't have any dirty deliveries today. <laughs> Pigs? Aw, oh, bolts. Bet you can't stay clean. I'm taking them to the farm, not rolling in the mud with them. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Oh, what a bright, shiny, sparkly, clean day. Easy greasy. And I'm still clean as a whistle. Have fun in the mud. Whoa! Piggy, look out! Aw, oh, bolts. Thomas, what happened to you? I fell in the mud. And I bet Sandy had to stay clean all day. Yes! I knew I'd win. Well, why don't you take another bath before she sees you? No, I have to tell her the truth. Are you looking for the winner? I'm right here! Huh? Whoa! You got a much mustache. Whoa! Look, I'm all clean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wash off. If I can do it like that, let's get clean! Come on! Have 
never seen anything like this before. Oh, cool. Awesome! We are almost to the seashore. No more dark tunnels. Nope. Nothing but beautiful scenic countryside. Huh? <gasps> the bridge is up! And no electricity to bring it down. What will we do? Connor, dear, can you do something? Connor, are you able to connect to the bridge like you did to the tunnel? Electric idea! Let's find out! I can plug in and power the bridge. No power, no problem. Something wrong? <sighs> the bridge is down. But now, so is my battery. I'm out of power. It's okay. Go on to Vigor's town. I'll be fine. Grab on, Connor. Everything's connected, right? Now you're connected to me, and I'm going to Vigor's town. Way to go, Purse. On the left is the Vigor's Town Lighthouse. It's dark right now, but when it's lit up, it's... <gasps> Spectacular! <laughs> Incredible! Just beautiful. Thank you. We definitely got our scenic route, as promised, Thomas. Well, the electricity's all connected, but so are we. We all did it together. Yep! <sighs> I'm sure this tour will be the highlight of their visit. Oh, oh, Annie, I made a pun. Oh, you did. Good one, Clary. Hi there. I'm all charged up and ready to go. Come on. Why don't we all connect for the ride home? Hook me in. I'll lead the way. Electric! <laughs> Any minute now. Do you see him yet? Not yet. Uh-uh. Hey, guys. Did any of you see that the crossing arms... Hold on, Thomas. He should be here any minute. Huh? Oh, right! Young Bao's coming today. He's coming for the fireworks show tonight. I can't wait to see him. And that cool tiger painted on his side. And hear his whistle that sounds like a tiger. Just like that. That must be him. Avast, landlubbers. There's a passenger on board who seems to be eager to see ya. Electric Yay! made it! Roar! Hey, everyone. I'm so happy to be back with you all in Sodor. And I brought a surprise for the fireworks show tonight all the way from China. Cool! That's awesome! Can you tell us again how you earned your totally cool and sort of scary tiger decal? Please! Oh. Tell us! <laughs> oh, it wasn't such a big deal. I was just trying to help out. Come, Come on! on. Oh, with actual yeah. grease on top? Okay, okay. It was for the time I rescued... <gasps> Annie and Clarabelle? Annie and Clarabelle? I thought you rescued an engine from an ice cliff with a snowplow. No! James is pulling Annie and Clarabelle this way. But the crossing arm is stuck, and they don't see Gordon coming. We have to stop them. Oh, yeah. Guys, I was trying to say before... Gordon! Gordon! Huh? Great gifts! <laughs> Nicely done. Whew. Thank you, Young Bao. So electric. Oh, yeah. oh, you weren't even scared. 
What's wrong, Thomas? Well, I should have been the one to have saved the day. I saw the crossing arm was stuck, and I was gonna tell someone, but... Young Bao is our hero. Did you see that? Oh, yes. So you had a chance to be brave and missed it? Yeah. I wish I could have shown Young Bao how brave I really am. Well... You may not be the bravest engine on Sodor, but you did get to see Young Bao bravely leap to the rescue. Well, I would have too. You really are the bravest engine. Well, we'd better get to our delivery so we don't miss the fireworks tonight. Bye, Young Bao. Bye. Is loose. Yeah, so loose. <laughs> <laughs> no cracks, bolts tight, no wobble. No problem. Come on, guys. It's a long way to Harwood. Uh, I don't want to do this. We got something else. Thomas, I think my axle is cracked. The cracked axle is terrible. Yeah, except the axles are fine. <laughs> well, my boiler is leaking. Boxcars don't have boilers. True, but my underpins are overpin. That's not a thing. No more delays. Let's go. Aw, a bolt. Uh, Thomas, your coupler's loose. No, you've been checked and rechecked. But it's for real this time. Oh, no! Whoa! Oh, I blame myself! I blame you, too! You guys were pretending again that my coupler was broken. Your coupler broke? Oh, that's bad. But we'll fix it. Now you, I believe, Sandy. I told you not to pretend you were broken. Well, you pretended your wheel was broken first. Well, you pretended you had a leaky boiler. But cars don't have boilers. Next time, let's just go. Taking letters in packages down the rail. My
My <gasps> whistle. Whoa, I've never heard a whistle make that sound before. I, that is. Wow, <laughs> massive. But I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Try it now. Great. I'm ready to hear my old. <laughs> wow, this really is a more massive deal than we thought. For a job this big, I'm going to need my extra special tools. Meet me at the sheds later? <sighs> okay. See you then. Uh, go easy on that totally, completely broken whistle. <sighs> I know you want it to be fixed, but it's just a little longer, and then you can get your peep back. Come on, let's finish our mail route. I think you should finish this delivery on your own. But what about Percy, miss? You feel like yourself again. And that's great, but I won't until this is fixed. <sighs> Just go on without me. Well, if that's what you want, I'll meet you back at the sheds. By that time, I'm sure Sandy will have fixed her whistle. If she can even fix me, otherwise, I'll never peep again. Percy doesn't need me. He can toot and carry the mail by himself. <laughs> Troublesome trucks! Should be trouble making trucks. <gasps> Uh-oh! One of the troublesome trucks is headed right for Percy! I have to warn him! He can't hear me! <gasps> but with your help, maybe he will. Okay, just follow the number one bird! For the help loading, Carly. No problem, Cranky. Loading Volstrode is fun. Watch this, Sandy. Ugh. Nice lift, Carly. Maybe one day you'll be as strong as Cranky. As strong as me? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? That's a pretty big load, Carly. That was pretty big, Cranky. Can you top it? Of course I can. Look at this. <laughs> Take it easy now. Wow. How are you going to beat that one, Carly? Hmm. That's nothing. How about this? <laughs> Excuse me. What's happening? I'm... <laughs> How about this? Oh, yeah? Hmm. Hey, Carly, do this one next. Whoa! Get me down from here. I'll get you, Sandy. I am not happy 
about this. Oh no, Bulstrode! Whoop, sorry, pal. Whoa! Was that really necessary? No, it was not. But it was amazing. Ah, enough playing around. Let's work together. It doesn't have to be a contest. Ah! Oh no, now what have we done? I got this. I guess our lifting contest was a tie. The trains on the metal go from brum brum, from brum brum, from brum brum. The trains on the metal go from brum brum. Music is everywhere. Cups against mailboxes, bong 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 bong. Boxes, bong, 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 bong. Music is everywhere. Wind in the pipes goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. Wind in the pipes goes whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Music is everywhere. The bell in my cab goes ding, 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 ding. It brings me luck in everything. Music is everywhere. Wind in the pipes goes The bell in my cab goes Music is everywhere Listen and look and you will find You will find You will find Listen and look Sound. <gasps> I love it. Hey, sheep, listen. <gasps> <laughs> They're jumpy today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi, Nia. Don't scare the butterflies, please. Oh, wow. Hey, have you heard my new sound? <gasps> That was pretty loud. But cool. But loud. Oh no, it was too loud, wasn't it? Well, too loud for the butterflies. I'm gonna find a place where it's okay to be loud. Good luck! Oh. Here's a good spot. <laughs> Gordon, wait till you hear my new sound. <laughs> <laughs> Ania, <laughs> what's wrong? Sorry I woke you up. I have a great new sound, but it's too loud to play anywhere. Well, sometimes it's fun to be loud. <laughs> you need to find a place where being loud won't make others cranky. Cranky? Great idea, Gordon. Oh, what are you doing here, Nia? This. <gasps> Wow! Nice loud sound. I like it. <laughs> nice one, Bullstrode. What's at the end of the rainbow? What do you think we'll find? Nobody knows. What a rainbow holds But I have a few things in mind Hey! What's at the end of the rainbow? It's gonna be a great surprise Hey! What's at the end of the rainbow's bend? Look! It's some old rail ties? That doesn't seem right Hey! Over there! We'll find a rainbow's end If it's treasure or it's not We're so close now What's at the end of the rainbow? What 
do you think we'll find? Nobody knows what a rainbow holds, but I have a few things in mind. Hey! I hope what we find is a golden headlight. I hope it's new wheels so shiny and so bright. What's at the end of the rainbow? Aww, what's at the end of the rainbow? Hey! It's gonna be a great surprise! What's at the end of the rainbow span? You won't believe your eyes! Hey! It's just a hand now, we can't always see the end of the rainbow, whatever will there be! Plus zero, added up to zero fun. Turns out the no fun number isn't always the number one. On my own, on my own. As long as I can pretend I'll never be alone. On my own. You can sail across the seven seas, rule a kingdom from a throne. Take a trip on a rocket ship, past the moon to the unknown. On my own. On my own. I thought that one plus zero added up to zero fun. Turns out the no fun number isn't always the number one. On my own. On my own. As long as I can pretend I'll never be alone. On my own. You can sail across the seven seas, rule a kingdom from a throne, take a trip on a rocket ship, pass the moon to the unknown. On my own, on my own. As long as I can pretend I'll never be alone. On my own, on my own, all on my own. Chugga, chugga. Snooze, snooze. Little train so sweet. Chugga, chugga, snooze, snooze. Rest your wheels and go to sleep. Chugga, chugga, snooze, snooze. Slow your pistons, no more steam. Shut your eyes, time to dream When you wake with the morning sun You'll zoom off to have more fun But till then, you know what's best To slow it down and get some Chugga, snooze, snooze, it's such a lovely sight. Chugga, chugga, snooze, snooze, when a sleeping train goes night, night.
number one engine was faster than that. That's all you got? Not even close. Here comes super speed! Woohoo! Come on, Thomas! Whoa! I can still win. Chugga chugga! Woohoo! Just like Thomas's light. Thomas! You forgot one of your lights! <sighs> okay, guys, first month through Vickers Town Station after me is the winner! Thomas, you sure are speedy. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Number one, lots of fun. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <gasps> Come on. It's probably okay. Don't blow a gasket. Maybe we can fix it before Gordon gets here. I'm <gasps> here. Well, how did your deliveries go, hmm? Are all of the lights safe and not broken? I, um, well, you see... <gasps> Gordon, the truth is... The tracks were bumpy! <laughs> what? They were. But that's not how it broke. Well, this is a problem. But accidents happen. <laughs> Besides, the Festival of Lights will still be grand with your second light. Phew! <gasps> My second light! <gasps> Where is my second light? You, uh, you did have the second light, <laughs> correct, Thomas? Um, be right back! Straight to the docks and be careful. We want to surprise Sir Topham Hat when he gets back from the mainland. Don't worry, I'll be so careful. <laughs> Not confetti. What's wrong, Diesel? I thought everyone liked confetti. Everybody loves confetti. Just not in their intake vents. Thomas, I told you to be careful. I was careful. You should be careful, like the carefulest. Oops, miss some. Now remember. Whoa! Hey, where did the confetti cart go? There, let's go. Be careful or the confetti will explode again. Wait. Sandy's right. We have to be careful. I'm being careful. Oh, no! Ah! How is it not exploding? Ah! Okay, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> this way! Paleontologist, Diesel. <laughs> a paleontologist is a scientist who learns about dinosaurs by digging up their bones. I love dinosaurs. This is so cool. Oh, yes. And even cooler, uh, they need some engines to deliver the bones to the Vickerstown Museum for the big new dinosaur exhibit. Sounds like a job for the Biggest Adventure Club. Yeah! <laughs> Guys, guys, we have to go to the mine. 
mine. Right now, there's bones. Bones? Dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones? Wahoo! Let's go. Hear me roar! <laughs> Call me the Perseodactyl. The Conoraptor will show you how it's done. Thomas Rex has got this! Let's go! <laughs> See? The bones are right. <gasps> oh no! Gordon, the T Rex is gone? Gone? Someone better tell the paleo lollipopolist. <laughs> the uh, paleontologist dug them up from there and carefully arranged them for you over here. Now, everyone pick a car, but keep them in the order they are now. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. For the T-Rex to be put together properly, the paleontologists put these cars in this exact order. If you get out of order... Got it! Dinosaurs, let's dino-roar! Roar! <laughs> <coughs> if you kids get out of order, T-Rex won't look right. Uh, Thomas? Thomas! <sighs> Feet, tailbone, Rib. and claws, head and jaws. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws. That no problem. Okay, it might be a little problem. Good luck with the traffic, huh? It's nothing but grassy fields and blue skies out here, right, sheep? <gasps> Cracked couplers. Where did all this traffic come from? <laughs> Got this, Percy. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Aw, oh, thanks, cow. Any chance you want to be my new BFF? Bovine friend forever? Traintastic! Although, I am a little worried about Thomas. He took the lineys for my mail route, and you would not believe how jammed it gets this time of day. <sighs> Is the traffic always this bad? Ha ha ha! You are listening! I don't need Percy! It's just you and me, sheepy old pal! Which ain't so ba ha 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 Percy would have laughed at that. Who am I kidding? I miss my best friend. Thomas? Why haven't you dropped your delivery off yet? Isn't it obvious? I'm stuck in traffic. Wait, where's Percy? He, uh, took a little detour. Don't tell me you two haven't made up yet. Well, he started it. Or maybe I did. I wonder if he's having as much trouble as I am. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for trying, cow. But it's no use. I'll never get this delivery done without my best buddy, Thomas. What am I gonna do, Nia? Why don't you just ask Percy for help? This is his mail route, after all. He'll know a way around it. I, I can't. We're not exactly friends anymore. And besides, he's probably made it to Normby without me. So if Percy was nearby, would you ask him for help? Yeah. Good, because Percy's right over there. Wait, what? I was really hoping Thomas wouldn't see me. Can you help Thomas get out of this traffic? We're still not talking. But if someone wanted to avoid the traffic, they could back up a few feet and take the siding over there to get to this track. Thomas, it's right here. Thanks, Percy! You 
both are being silly. I feel the need to lead with speed. You okay? That's a lot of hay. It's no joke. My coupler broke. The cows need this hay. Well, it's on my way. I'll take it. You gotta watch your stack out on the track. Remember, it's tall. To tell the truth, one little goof, and the whole thing's gonna fall. Got it. I'm gonna lay on the speed. There's cows to feed. Uh-oh. Connor, watch your height. You're gonna hit that. <laughs> Watch out for the Ugh. tunnel. You can't come this way. You'll lose your hey. How do you move? I got food for you. What? <gasps> My bales of hay went away. I know what's in this. Are you looking for this? I went too fast and lost my stack. But you had good friends who brought it back. Absolutely. Thanks for bailing me out on my unstacked route. But I'm back on track. I've learned to keep an eye on my stack. Well. This is a fine how-do-you-do. -do. Hi, Gordon. Everything okay? No. Thomas and I are delivering ties to the bottom of the mine. But my headlight just burned out. I can't join him without it. Oh, well, I can help you. Stick close to me. I'll light the way. Thank you, Nia. But do be careful. This mine can be a dangerous place. <laughs> Watch out, Nia! A runaway car! Um, Gordon? It's your car. In my car? Oh, yeah, we have to catch it. Go over this way. Here. And there it is. Whoa. Oh, we're getting close. Come on. Ooh. Oh, I forgot how beautiful the Crystal Cavern is. It's incredible. Oops. This mine is quite spooky enough without that, Nia. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry, this is just a little setback. I think your car ended up over here. Whoa. What was that? One of the crystals. It lit up. Whoa. <gasps> Come on. The crystal cavern is going to help us find your car and get out. Um. Uh... Ding, ding, dong, ding. <laughs> Whoa! We found my car! Yes! Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Dancing! Look! <gasps> Let me try! I think we just might dance our way to a delivery. Oh, yeah! Harold to Thomas and Percy. Howdy, fellas. Over. Harold! Harold the helicopter? Wow, it's so cool to see you. <laughs> Roger that. Right back at you. Over. First mate, Percy. We're coming to a fork in the, uh, the ocean. Let's go left, toward the cows. I think he really wants you to look at them cows. <laughs> uh-huh, yes. Thomas and I are delivering a submarine. The left fork. We're going toward the cows. <laughs> they are nice cows. Well, I got a delivery at the docks. Over and out. Bye, Harold. See you soon. Ah, can't hear me over his rotors. Huh? Percy? Ow! Are you okay, Percy? Sorry, Captain. Couldn't hear you over Harold's rotors. Yeah, I couldn't hear you either. His rotors are loud. Harold is amazing, though. Absolutely. But you need a way to communicate so we'll understand each other if it gets loud again. 
Even if it's loud, our whistles are louder. How's this? One peep will mean yes, and two will mean no. Great. And one long peep or two for faster, and two for slower. Right. Got it. And four quick blasts if you want to go super fast, and a blast and a half if you want to go like a little bit faster, and also three quick peeps if you want to stop. And then, stop. If then again, then. That's a lot to remember. So you good? Well, great. Let's get back on track. Um. First mate Percy, let's go fast through that tunnel. One long peep. Okay, that was one long peep. That means go faster. He understood me. Okay, let's do this. <gasps> the bridge is up. We need to stop. That's three peeps. Huh? What did 12 peeps mean? Maybe Percy can't hear me on the other side of the mountain. I gotta try something else. Oh. Huh? Oh, fun! Tom sent up a stop signal. A stop signal? Stop! <laughs> Phew. Dum dee 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 dum. Another quiet day on the river of Thomas. So, so quiet. If you jump out of your hiding place and surprise me, you win. But if I sneak up and surprise you, I win. That's why it's called Hide and Surprise! Okay, I'll hide first. Ready or not, here I come to surprise you. Surprise! Yay, yay, yay! It's your turn to hide. Oh, I'm going to hide, all right. Somewhere Percy will never find me. Surprise! Ah! Ah! Sorry, but it's hide and surprise, remember? I love this game. <laughs> Percy will never find me in here. <laughs> surprise! Ah! <laughs> He'll never find me here. Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Diesel's undercover. Surprise! Ah! Surprise! Ah! Ooh! <laughs> the perfect hiding place. Surprise! Ah! He's not gonna surprise me this time. I'm going to surprise him. Ha, ha, ha. Nailed it! Surprise! Ah! Diesel? That was great! Surprise! <laughs> hey, guys. Is the telescope here yet? Not yet. Bullstrode should be here any. <gasps> Thomas, what happened? What do you mean? Ah! Thomas, I told you not to cut through Crumble Canyon. So that's what you said. I knew it was something like that. You look terrible. Like, really terrible. Huh? Pfft. I just got a little dinged up. No biggie. Thomas, what on earth? You have to get to Tidmouth right now. Right now? But I want to see the new telescope. You know, but you have to get repainted immediately. You don't want to rust, do you? Rust? I'm so glad you came to see me. You've got a bad case of the scrapes. Aww. Can't believe I'm going to miss Cranky unloading the new telescope. Scratches and dings. Do you turn to rust if you don't fix them, Thomas. And you don't want rust, Thomas. Rust is the worst. I hear it's super itchy and scratchy and really uncomfortable. Oh, it is. You should be fine, Thomas. See, got you all fixed up with a fresh new coat of paint. Good as new. 
Great. Thanks, Sandy. Too? Yeah, for the lighthouse. Is yours for the dance party at Brenham Docks? Yep, I can't wait. Since we're going the same way, wanna race? Last one to quick jump bridge is a broken bulb. <laughs> Diesel, the lights are too breakable. We can't race. <sighs> I better catch him and warn him. <laughs> Woohoo! Slow down! We don't want our light bulbs to break! Nice try, Thomas. You're just trying to trick me so you can win the race. I don't need tricks to win against you. <laughs> hey, no fear! <laughs> Excuse me! Excuse party me! Party, party me! Go. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Call it a tie? Sure. See you at the dance tonight. Can't wait. Who's ready to dance? I am, I am, I, I, I. That's not a dance light. It's the lighthouse light. It is. So if we have this light... That doesn't look right. <gasps> Diesel and I must have switched bulbs. No, the ships need the lighthouse, so we can't switch the bulbs until tomorrow. If you can't switch the light bulb, then we'll just have to switch where we have our dance party. Now this is a party. No one on the rails today but me. Just the way I like it. Mama, you want something with feathers who says caca and Mama. No. Mama. No. Mama. No. Mama. You don't give up, do you? What's your name, little guy? Mama. Okay, I'll call you Wilson. Hello, Wilson. I'm Diesel. Now we're buddies. Next stop, Brendam Docks to find your Mama. Not your mama. More like a big brother. Mama! Wilson, you have to be more careful. Mama. <laughs> no, more like a super strong uncle. Don't worry, Wilson. We'll find your mama here. Mama. Hey, Diesel. Looks like you picked up a passenger. <laughs> I'm trying to find his mama. Mama! 
Well, I'm glad he's found his mama. They grow up so quickly. It's hard to see them leave the nest. <clears throat> you did a good thing. Helped him find his mama. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Better go pick up my delivery. <gasps> mama. Now she shouldn't be down here. She should be up at the duck pond. Okay, ducky. I'll take you home. But mama's work is never done. <laughs> yeah, you're a cutie. Today, I'm gonna go further than I've ever gone. To the lighthouse. The lighthouse? Well, that's too far when the wind is this strong. You'll never make it on your own. <laughs> what? I like the wind. I can get there and back all by myself. Mind if I come along? Thanks for the wind block, Bullstrode. But I really wanted to sail to the lighthouse all by myself. You're still the one sailing. We're just cruising along next to each other. Hey, good point. Lighthouse. Here I come. Whoa, is that Skip? Hey, Skip. I've never seen you this far from the docks before. That's because it's a new record. Great job. Hi, Volstrode. Hi, Thomas. See you later, Skiff. Be careful getting home. Don't worry. After getting here, getting home is going to be a breeze. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, now. Slow down. I told you it was too windy to make it all the way to the lighthouse. But he did make it there, all by himself. Well, uh, good job then, I, I guess, uh, How'd you do it? Well, I had a little help from Bullstrode blocking the wind for me. Aw, I only helped a little bit. Turns out going alone is a lot more fun when you take somebody with you. <laughs> Come on, Thomas. These cows aren't gonna haul themselves to McCall's farm. <laughs> Let's go. Uh-oh. Wait. What is it? I can't steam, and I lost my peep because I'm out of water. I'm a diesel, so I don't need water. Catch me if you can. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> Sorry, <gasps> cows, but we gotta hurt the e. Rusty rail spikes. I have the hick <gasps> ups. Hey, Thomas. Is there, like, a really big chicken around here? No, it's <gasps> me. I took on water too fast, and I think I got the hiccups. <gasps> so bad, I can't do the delivery. <gasps> oh, I hear steam blasts help, like this. <gasps> that might have worked. <laughs> The cows have hiccups? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh-oh. <laughs> A good surprise always cures the hiccups. It worked. It's a good thing we diesels never get hiccups. <laughs> I guess we do get hiccups. <laughs> this is fun. What are we doing? <laughs> Chasing a butterfly. Oh, I love butterflies. They're so delicate but keep fluttering and flitting and flying. I know. Right now, I'm looking for a Sodor skipper. A Sodor skipper? I thought we were looking for butterflies. We are. A Sodor skipper is a really big purple butterfly. Purple? Like me? Electric! Hmm. Not here. <gasps> Over there! It's amazing! <laughs> wow. They get scared easily. Maybe they're just not ready for someone as fast as you. Good point. I won't go fast. <gasps> that one over there is purple! 
is a Sodor Skipper! <laughs> well, it was. Maybe she heard you coming? <laughs> I might have been too loud. Okay, so we need to be slow and quiet. <gasps> Look over there! Where? Slowly, slowly, getting closer, closer. <gasps> so beautiful! <gasps> so perfectly purple! Look out! <laughs> I guess no matter how slow or how quiet we are, we're always going to scare away the Sodor Skippers. But it sure was fun looking. There's one on your head. The electric. This rocks. Hey, guys. Is the telescope here yet? Not yet. Bullstrud should be here any... <gasps> Thomas, what happened? What do you mean? Ah! Thomas, I told you not to cut through Crumble Canyon. So that's what you said. I knew it was something like that. You look terrible. Like, really terrible. Huh? Pfft. I just got a little dinged up. No biggie. Thomas, what on earth? You have to get to Tidmouth right now. Right now? But I want to see the new telescope. You no know, buts. You have to get repainted immediately. You don't want to rust, do you? Rust? I'm so glad you came to see me. You've got a bad case of the scrapes. Aww. Can't believe I'm gonna miss Cranky unloading the new telescope. Scratches and dings do turn to rust if you don't fix them, Thomas. And you don't want rust, Thomas. Rust is the worst. I hear it's super itchy and scratchy and really uncomfortable. Oh, it is. You should be fine, Thomas. See, got you all fixed up with a fresh new coat of paint. Good as new. Great. Thanks, Sandy. 